All right, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a quick video before the trading week started just to talk about what I've been doing so far and uh, what I plan to do throughout the rest of the week. And my goal is to do this consistently if it, you know, if it works throughout the whole year. And that is selling puts and calls for some extra income on companies that I like. And then I'm also going to talk about something else I've been doing um, in the last month and a half or so. And really, I'm just making this to document how this goes, and you can learn from my mistakes and what not to do, as I do obviously make mistakes. And we can verify that because I have a video from a while back, five stocks that I'm selling puts on in 2022, which I'm very saddened by because I'm selling puts on companies like this, Tattooed Chef, uh, Smile Direct, and many more that are more speculative and highly unprofitable. And I still have some... Uh, unprofitable stocks in my Robinhood portfolio because for me this is more of my active portfolio. My main portfolio is just index funds and ETFs and stuff. But seeing this makes me pretty sad and I just wanted to briefly talk about uh, what I've been doing lately. So I have this spreadsheet where I track how much I'm making in premium selling puts and calls and so far this month I have made in premium $257. However, this is probably not going to stay because if I have to pay to close some of these positions, that's going to be reflected in the total monthly return for premiums. And you can see here, there are a lot of SPY and the type is either put credit or call credit. And that's what I've been doing recently. I've been opening put credit spreads and call credit spreads pretty far out of the money and maybe a few of them at a time. And if they start to decay and such, I'll close them out, pay a little bit of money to close them and call it a day. Now, I do have a plan uh, if they get closer to being in the money or in the money, I'll end up buying them just to close them and open up another one further out in the future, and maybe open up more to make up for that loss. And that's kind of been my game plan. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I wanted to show a quick example of a put credit spread on SPY, which SPY is just an S&P 500 ETF. So if we go on Robinhood and we look up SPY and I go to trade SPY options, you can make a decent amount of premium selling puts on SPY, right? If we go to, what's the current price, 387? If I were to go to uh, a strike of 383, I can make 33 bucks with this expiring tomorrow selling put on SPY. The problem here is I have to have three, what, $38,300 in collateral to open this position. And so I don't have anywhere near that in free cash. So what you can do instead is I can still sell this, but I can buy a put at a lower strike price. So the next one, for instance, right here. And I'll make the difference in premium, and I'll pay in collateral the difference here. So it's a dollar times 100, that would be $100, and I'd make $8 in premium. The problem with this, as I mentioned, the risk I see is if it becomes in the money, I don't have the option to own those shares or have the option of those shares being assigned to me, which is why I like selling just puts is because, well, if it does go in the money and things don't go the way I planned, or I can still end up owning shares of a company that I like at a price I was okay with buying them at. And Robinhood actually has a tool. And if we look at the builder here and we scroll down, we see a put credit spread is one of the options. If I click on it, here's basically what we just did. The width is $1. And if we go back down to the actual price that it's near, I can click on this one here and I'll make $8 in premium and I'll use $100 as collateral and this shows you the maximum I can make is $9 or really eight, it's just dependent on the bid ask and the max loss could be up to $91 or 100 minus that $9 I got in premiums. So I'll do something like this typically, I'll go way out of the money like this $3 one right here and maybe I'll open three positions of this and then I can make $9 in premium. And the chances of this ETF getting down to 380 aren't very high, though it could happen. And if it does happen, what I'll end up doing is buying to close that position and then opening up a new position further down the road, different expiration date, and maybe even more of those so I can recoup some of those losses. That's been my current plan so far. And I just wanted to share that with you. And then maybe tomorrow we can talk about what happened throughout the day. And uh, hopefully you are enjoying this series and it's just for entertainment. Don't take this as any advice because if you're smart, you would just do the opposite of what I do. But thanks so much for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in a future one.